Val Pancakes here, and joining me tonight on the stack, I have Ref Kim. You can see her working um, in the TWE arena in Chattanooga, also for Action Wrestling in New South, among among others. So please welcome uh, Ref Kim tonight. Hi. <laughs> Hi. Thank you for agreeing to hang out with me tonight. I appreciate you taking time to, to talk with me. Um, I kind of mentioned to you right before we hit record that um, I love that there's so many uh, female referees right now. I feel like there's kind of like a boom that I haven't really seen before. And I love being able to talk with you guys. So thank you for agreeing to talk with me tonight. I want to show other people and other, you know, women and, you know, maybe people that are just kind of coming into it. Like you, mm -hmm. you can find a place for yourself in wrestling as a woman where you don't just have to wrestle or be a valet. Like there are other places for you. So, mm -hmm. <laughs> and on, on that note, uh, what were you like as a, a young child? What was a young Kim like? Oh, a young Kim. Um, well, I grew up going to like wrestling shows. Um, locally, we had this show called um, News. I mean, not News. Dang it, um, Empire um, Pro Wrestling. Um, U uh, UEW. Like I grew up going to those shows. Um, never. I was supposed to into wrestling. Never. I was like six. My papa actually introduced me to it. Um, we used to like watch that. Uh, get like little um, VCR tapes, big core like shows, and like to just watch it back. As a family, it was a it was like me and my papa's bonding time, and he's like the main thing, main person that got me into wrestling, which I'm very thankful for, and I'm glad that I'm hopefully um, making him proud by um, being in the business. Cause oh, <laughs> but yeah, um, Aaron Kim was you know loved pro wrestling. I still do. We we'll always love pro wrestling. Um, yeah, it's, it's a big part of my life. It's like now I'm really glad that I get to like be involved with it. It's always been a dream of mine to like be in the business, and I'm so glad I got the opportunity to become a referee. Um, but yeah, <laughs> grew up with that. Um, I do have a story of time though. Whenever young Kim was uh just got through watching wrestling, um. I thought, yo, let me try this move real quick. I said, it says, do not try at home. <laughs> I got up on the couch one day, um, come my sister. I was like, hey, Brittany, move out of the way. Like, you know, I want to try something. She didn't move. So I said, oh, well, I tried, I tried doing a drop kick. I drop kicked her right in the ear. Like, right in the ear. Um, safe to say she had to go to the emergency room. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> well, I felt bad for it, but yeah, <laughs> she moved. <laughs> but yeah, like like I said, it's a big part of my life, and you know, I looked up to a bunch of wrestlers growing up for sure. <sighs> yeah. So, what wrestlers did you? You said you looked up to a bunch of wrestlers growing up. Um, like, who did you look up to? Like, who were your in, like? Who are your inspirations or whatever you want to look at it? Inspirations? Oh, geez. I was a big Batista fan. Like, every single, every single time he came out there doing his little vibe, I'd get up and do it with him, like, watching pay-per-views and everything. Like, he, like he, yeah, he was one of the people that inspired me. Him, um, AJ Lee was, like, one of the female wrestlers I used to look up to um, growing up. Um, let's see. Um, Natalia as well. Like, I was a big Natalia fan. And then I don't know if you remember, like, uh, they used to Domino and stuff like that. But I, they came out there with the roller skates on. I was like, that was so cool. Like, like that was, like, so, like, so impressed with that stuff. And then, um. Also, Jeff Hardy as well. Like, I, I was a huge Jeff Hardy fan going up. But, yeah. So, what made you decide to become a ref? Um, let's see. It was, hold on, my dogs are so loud. Um, 
Hey. Yeah. Anyways, um, let's see. It was um, I've always um thought that um, it like the ref's job was like pretty cool. So um, one day in in, in training, I um walked up to my trainer, Jaden Newman. I was like, um, hey, Jaden, um, is there a way I can try to like learn how to become a referee? He was like, yeah, because like, we can try to get you um, started with trying to train with that. Um, they started, like, working with me and stuff. And then, um, yeah, that's pretty much, like, how I started becoming a referee. I, I watched uh, – I used to um, – I studied, like, um, referees, um, take notes of, like, you know, things that, like, help me improve and everything. Um, I got, like, a whole entire, like – Notes trying to like uh like uh notes um, and stuff to like try to get a better as a referee. I'm still working on it. I have a few you got a few flaws that I'm trying to fix, but uh, it's it's a it's a prog- it's a fucking progress. For sure. Yeah. What like what referees do you look to for like to kind of model your style after? Um I see. I studied a lot of like Aubrey Edwards. Uh, can't think of uh, his name was on the top of my head, but I can't remember. Um, he was like an older, older WWE ref. I can't remember his name though. Um, it's yeah. on Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> my brain's like slipping. Yeah, yeah, fine. Yeah. I, I <laughs> so who had the most influence on you both in and out of wrestling most influence like like what it, it, exactly uh, how whatever that means to you so if it was somebody that helped you get to where you're at in the business um if it was somebody that helped you in your personal life it can be two different people however however you want to answer that question oh oh yeah um, shiny shoes. Um, shiny shoes was the person that helped me um train to become a referee. He still um you know gives me notes and everything. I take everything that he says to her, and I try to like take uh take in all of his like critiques and stuff, and I um make sure I try to push myself to become better because um yeah I I want to make um make shoes proud. I mean, because like I said, like he's he's been there for me since day one. Um, same with Jaden. Like I don't know what I'd do without either one of them two. Because I definitely wouldn't be what I am now without both of them. But Aww. yeah. So what is your what do you see as your future in wrestling? Like, what are your future plans in wrestling? Do you plan to? move on or I definitely plan on traveling more with it like that's one of my goals I'm wanting to like push for is like starting to like travel with it and hopefully one day I can get into the like the bigger companies like either AEW or WWE would be great even if it's uh like um New New Japan as well like that would be like awesome companies to like work for um it would, I, I, I don't know what I did if it was to get on AEW or WWE, though. My dollars on glass puppies. But, um, but yeah, definitely the, um, the long goal is to press towards those companies as well. But So what has been your greatest achievement in wrestling so far? Oh... That's a good question. Um, greatest achievement so far. Definitely okay. Definitely being a part of Scenic City. Um, I grew up going to the Scenic City shows. I haven't missed one show of Scenic City growing up. And like the moment that they told me, yo, Kim, would you like to rep for us? I was like, Yes. Like it was that was like a dream come true. Like, um, growing up, I was like, "Yo, this would be so cool to be a part of." Like, you know, like a um, 
local wrestling that is like huge, but like like everybody <laughs> and me being a part of it, I saw, I, I I was like just like so nervous slash uh, like excited to be a part of that. Like that was so huge to me. I know I realizes how big that opportunity was for me, but like that was so huge for me. But yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. I I've been to, I went last year to SCI. I went this year to SCI. I love SCI. It is like if if someone told me I could only take two trips a year, it would be mini weekend and SCI, hands down. Like SCI is so much fun. Um just the the atmosphere, the wrestling, the wrestling's fantastic. The atmosphere is so welcoming. Like I love love when I can get down to Chattanooga because y'all are so nice to me down there. And <laughs> And SCI is huge to just get that caliber of talent and to be able to have like that kind of like big show feel, but have it be like also kind of like intimate too. is is very cool to me. Mm -hmm. So what would you say has been the greatest obstacle that you've overcome in wrestling? There's obstacle. Um, I, um, definitely my stage, right? Um, um, I'm a very like quiet and like self absorbed person. So like, um, like getting out there, like um, getting out there is like definitely getting me like to open up more and like uh, be like try to be a little more outgoing and like uh, cause also like I- I'm a very self talker. So like um, with the ref thing. Just be like you know loud and everything so that's definitely like helping me like with that that part of myself um I'm a very shy person too so like um I don't know like it, it's definitely helping me out with like um, opening up more and stuff like that <laughs> If you had an action figure of yourself and it was one of the ones that could talk, what would you want it to say and what accessories would it come with? Um, that's, that's, <laughs> oh, that's a good question as well. Um, I see. Um, I... I um I always say like like, hey yo or like that's crazy and stuff like that. So like that would be like that would probably be cool for for it to, to say. Um, it the uh, my action figure definitely had like a a hoodie on and like a a, a a like a beanie, and stuff like that. Um, the and definitely have like a converses on like, like yeah. That's kind of like. My own stuff is <laughs> so what is the wrestling word that you use most outside of wrestling a wrestling word yeah um i definitely say um brother a lot which i'm pretty sure like everybody says that. <laughs> um definitely say that as um i'm always like yo i got selling and like <laughs> Like oh, <laughs> all that stuff. Like all my friends, every single time I say like wrestling phrases, they're like, Kim, what are you talking about? I'm like, oh yeah, I forgot. Yeah, I don't speak wrestling. <laughs> and so it's like at, at work, like I'm like always saying like wrestling gets phrases and they're like, Kim, what are you even saying? And I'm like, I'm like, you weren't understand, like, you know, like I'm sorry. Like, I need to speak non differently. <laughs> Yeah, there's like a whole different like set of words and phrases. Yes, <laughs> definitely is. That you start using around your wrestling friends and then you start using around your non-wrestling friends and they go, huh? <laughs> They're like, what did you say? <laughs> like, what do you mean? Is it a shoe? I don't understand. I was like, yes. what, do what do you mean when you ask me if it's a shoot or a work? I don't get it. <laughs> yeah, shoot, work, um, heat. They're like, what? Like, what do you mean? I'm like, um, it means, you know, yeah. And they're yeah. like, they're like, 
you're so weird, Kim. I'm like, I'm sorry. Like, like. <laughs> it's like, I don't know, maybe just like be weirder. I don't know what to tell you. Yeah, exactly. Like, you match my energy. <laughs> <laughs> right? Like, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> gotta figure it out. <laughs> Real. Cafe brother. Like, <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> like, I'm not even like, in wrestling but because I've been around like my local scene for 10 years and like most of my friends at this point are involved in wrestling or are wrestlers um it just like it just proliferated into my vocabulary and I can't stop myself same like <laughs> yeah, everyday words like it's great I love it <laughs> so um when you you know travel or you're on the road what do you like to listen to it was, um, I'm very big with, like, punk rock and, like, uh, rock and stuff like that. I listen to a, a, a little bit of everything, but I'm not very sure music is definitely punk rock. Like, nice. yeah, so I've, I have, like, a whole entire playlist of just, like, punk rock music and, like, you know, my, like, my hype playlist I listen to, especially, like, the four shows, too. Like, I have to get myself, like, you know, pumped up and stuff. So, I, like, listen to that stuff and it gets me, like, in the mood. I'm like, let's go. <laughs> so what would be like the most surprising song on your playlist the most surprising song oh geez um so it's not punk rock related but um i don't, I don't know if you ever watched i do evan hansen yeah yes i've um I listen i have like that whole entire album set on, on, on my playlist and um um that song I can't remember what it's called. Um I listen but like um Sincerely Me but um by that playlist that yo I have like hold her dance and everything for that song. <laughs> it's great. Like that's definitely like probably like the most surprising song because I don't know if um anybody knows it but like that. I used to be in like musical theater and that's what I was going to go to college for. Um, I went for like one year and then family stuff happened. So I didn't get to finish, but I'm planning on going back and get my associates at least. As I only have one more year left. <laughs> so yeah, I'm very big with like musical theater and stuff like that. Um, oh yeah. yeah. I have a bunch of like musical theater songs on, on my playlist too. And they're like, like if people like heard my playlist, they'd be like, what is this? I'm, and I'm like, yo, y'all weren't supposed to say that. Like, <laughs> <laughs> what are some of your favorite musicals? Oh, I, I love musicals. So, <laughs> um, geez, um, I love, love, love The Greatest Showman. Like, that is one of my top musicals. Um, that, Edmund Hansen, um, a li- um, Hamilton is like not like up there, but like it's still like there. Was, um, that um, Shrek the musical, as I was in a musical called Shrek the Musical in high school, um, I love that playlist as well. Like that musical itself was like a masterpiece. Um, I also like um, the musical Heather's as well. That's a that's a good one as well. But yeah. Fun. Do you listen to any podcasts at all? Like wrestling or not wrestling, it doesn't matter to me. Um, I listen are you not to, like a podcast? Yeah, I'm not like fully a podcast guy, but I will listen to some of them if like my um, wrestling friends and stuff suggested. Like um, the Chris Jericho podcast, I I listen to because um, one of the the boys is like, "Yo, you should actually listen to this." I will l- listen to it and I love it. Um. Listen to that one, um, and then I can't remember the other one I, I've listened to, but I have a few podcasts I, I, I listen to, and I try to, especially like like wrestling, like um wrestling podcasts, especially like um if it's about like referee stuff, I definitely like, try to catch the, uh catch, catch those and try to like you know get on my notes and stuff and like you know that advice and stuff for like um refereeing in general. But, yeah. Nice. 
so when you're so like i'm a big like i'm a fat girl and i'm a big snacker and mm-hmm. i'm a snacker source for excel snacks so what are your like go-to like road or like show day snacks go to oh my goodness um definitely like keto's and um beef jerky it's weird but like beef jerky is like definitely like a go-to road snack um that um i don't know if you call it like um muddy buddies i think that's what it's called but like those as well um I don't know. My snacks are like usually random. Or, like if if I'm on the road, I try to like get stuff that um I'm like in the mood for at the time. Um, but yeah, I definitely will pick up Cheetos and like um Mighty Buddies and stuff like that. Like any time I'm anyway. <laughs> Um, what So, what is your favorite type of match to to referee? My favorite type of ooh. and i guess on the flip side of that then is there any match that you haven't refereed that you would like to like any type of match you'd want to be it like i don't know like a death match or like a two out of three falls match or something like that like um definitely need i definitely need to get some more two out of three falls matches in um dead matches are fun as well um i don't like if you ever like watch me like rap and stuff like i get into it as well um like those are like um those are fun to work i did one this uh past saturday actually um those um and i and i um no dicky matches like i like that both of those as well um but yeah <laughs> do you have any like show day like pre-show rituals like that you have to do before your show um hmm. before shows I usually um I'm, I usually pop in my headphones, listen to music, like dance around a little bit, get myself like in like the uh, like in a rhythm to like get because um, every single show I get like nervous, so like that helps me like snap out of my nerves. Um, definitely do that. I make sure I um, eat. I mainly eat like jacks bef- before shows. That's like usually my go-to restaurant before shows, as it's not that far from the arena. Um. But yeah, mainly, I'm mainly just jamming out and um, trying and making sure that like, I'm eating and stuff before shows. Not out there with your tummy growling because you're starving and now you're trying to rap and you're like, I'm so hungry. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, you, know, I, you said you've traveled a little bit. Do you have any good travel stories? Where something really funny happened or something like exciting or memorable, or you showed up to work like a new company and you get there and you're like, what the hell is this? And what did I get myself into? Oh, and you okay. can and you can go ahead and censor any names if you need to. Okay. Um they're gonna well, okay, so um a couple years ago, I, my very first year with the wrestling, uh, me and the boys would always go would, uh, go down to like New South shows. Um, uh, Colorado was fun because um, it, it was um, usually me, Jaden Newman, um, Carson Nilbeck, Aaron Wade, sometimes Johnny Shoes, and um, um, at the time it was um, Bailey Blake that was. Uh, that was like our car load um that sounds they, tremendous oh geez it, it, it was something else um they'd always jam out like i'll do this music everybody would get into it i'd be in the middle of both uh aaron wayne and shiny shoes 
and then she goes back and forth at it. I'm in the middle. Um, like this uh, one time, they was like trying to like you know um, argue back and forth. I was like right there in the middle. I said, I said, y'all, I'm like right here. You don't gotta yell. <laughs> My ear yelling. I was like, boys, calm down. <laughs> um, and there was one time it was uh, on the way home back from a show. Um, we um, just got through stopping at Waffle House to eat. Um, it was like like 12 o'clock at night. We was jamming out to... Um, um, to, 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 to was it... Like, um, it was a um hang it, what song is that? Uh I have the video too of like what happened. Anyways, we were jamming out to this one song. Jaden um decided to tell Carson, yo, stop the car a little quick. So they stopped the the car. Jaden full got out of the car on his hands and knees and started like screaming the lyrics out. <laughs> It was so fun and like our uh, video and uh, like everything, like we was all cracking up. Um, Jane hopped back in the car and goes, go, go, go. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, I was like, yo, know, it was so random. Like it was so funny. Like, like, yeah, they ha- I car, my, my car rides with them was always like, it's always fun. Uh, I still enjoy going on the trip with the boys because they don't make it like a dull moment. Like it's never a dull moment with them in the car. Like I, I, I love the, them boys so much. And I'm so glad that I um, get to like bond with them sometimes. Like you know, they're definitely like the the best people that you ever meet. Like, geez, and then like and. Uh, anyway, it's so so random. Like all the time. <laughs> so like, like you say like some random stuff, like in the car, and then to, to be like, wait, what? Like, what are you talking about? Like, yo. Um, we'd always play like little car games too. Like, um, we had this game where we would uh, um start with like the bit like the letter A and then like a wrestler. And like everybody got a turn. If you missed a turn, um, I forgot what was the consequence for missing the turn, but you was auto eliminated. So like we do that for like golly, like most of the trip, and it was super fun. Like, I those card games that, that they came up with is great. Like yeah. Oh, oh it <laughs> sounds it sounds like you have so much fun when you travel though, and like I do. Like, it's a blast, especially with them. Like, if I'm not riding in the car with them, I don't think that it's going to be entertaining. I feel like it would just be, like, you know, another day on the road, you know, just boring, listening to music, like, uh, like, dreading, like, dreading the car ride. But, like, they made the car rides fun. Like, I, I yeah. enjoy it so much. Yeah. I don't know. I, I don't know yeah. what, I, if I wasn't riding yeah. with them, like, I don't think I yeah. know what to do yeah. with myself. Aww. Like, that's so cute. Like, I love that. <laughs> so, do you have any hidden talents? Any hidden talents? Um, I, I use... Mm, geez, Louise. I sing here and there a little bit. Um, I don't sing like all the time. I don't sing in public either. My my mama wants me to like start trying to sing in public and stuff, but I'm like, no, mama, not doing that. So, um, I'm mainly do that. I'm starting to try to learn how to play piano a little bit. Um, it's I'm trying to like self teach myself the piano, and it, it, it's starting to come on. Um, nice. You should absolutely sing in public. You should like I like Yeah, just just start start easy. Start like sing like do you sing along like when you're in the grocery store and like a good like a good jam comes on? Like do you sing along in the in the aisle? Yeah, I don't sing too loud though. I don't want people to hear me. See, next time just like just pitch it out a little bit. Just like project a little bit more. 
yeah. like that start start small start start in the grocery store <laughs> i like a serious about those people <laughs> on tiktok but like i don't like habits where like a bunch of people can see it because like, i i don't know i'm like a very insecure person where like my singing and stuff you know i shouldn't be but like i don't know i need to start i, I definitely need to start opening myself up more with some things but I don't know. I just don't want to. I have a fear of judgment by people. So I think that's my problem. I'm just scared people's going to judge me and make fun of me and stuff. So I don't know. I mean, I can understand that. But I mean, you're all like, you're putting yourself out there as a wrath. You mm-hmm. are super sweet and kind and wonderful. Like, just, I don't, like, I understand the fear of judgment. Like, don't get me wrong. I totally get that. But, like, I feel like people generally are nice. And I feel like that if that's something that you want to do or you want to try, like, go for it. Thank you. (laughs) Do it while you still can. Because maybe someday you won't be able to. (laughs) Right? I don't know. I, 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 I need to definitely start trying to get myself out there more um but i I am start. i am like a um i'm a twitch streamer as well um i play like video games for like viewers i have like 600 followers um i'm also on like this esports team for like uh, my gaming and stuff so that's kind of like my like free time thing that helped me a a little bit with like my uh trying to get out there and talk to people more yeah Um, I also like sometimes I'll, I'm like singing on stream a little bit, but like I try to make sure nobody's watching but <laughs> before I do it. Um, some people like pop in like right as I'm doing it, and then they comment. And I'm like, oh, I didn't hear anything. I'm like, yeah, but I, I, I don't know. I need to definitely try to work on that more, but like not being so like shy and stuff around people. But so what? would you tell a 10 year old version of yourself if you could go back in time um definitely don't be afraid to try to um do something that you want to do and that you love um and to um definitely not be afraid to ask people um questions about things um and definitely um don't worry about other people's opinions of yourself because people can be harsh but it's really nothing that you should worry about because other people's opinions doesn't really matter um and to be myself and like um, not be so like closed up and stuff because i used to like be like worse like a worse shy back in the day um because I wanted to, I definitely wanted to try to get into the business sooner than I did, but I was too scared to. Like, I was too scared to, like, walk with people and be like, hey, is there a way I can try to do this? No. No, I was scared to. Like, I I felt, I, I don't know, I was terrified of people uh, growing up, and I definitely, need, uh, definitely should have, like, not worried about that and just went for it. Like... Yeah. I mean, Jaden is pretty scary, so I totally get it. Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. I I literally never um. I w- never at first met Jaden. Like, I was scared of him. I I, I was afraid to like talk to him and, and and stuff. I was like, I was like, this dude looks like he's gonna like rip my head off or something. Like, because I never at first met him, he was a heel at the time, and I was like. Uh, I looked at my mama. I said, "Mama, I said, I said I'm terrified of this." Man. She goes, "Why?" I said, "I don't know, but like he, he's like, he seems like he's like very intimidating." And she, she was like, "She's like, no, I bet he's like a like he's nice and stuff." And I so like, got in, 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 yeah, yeah, English yeah. got into training, and I was like, Hi. I met. Mm. I don't know, I'm sorry. <laughs> oh, you're right. Um, 
got into training one day and I um, met and I started like get, like you know getting to know him and like I was like yo but I was also scared of him like he's super nice like he's a nice person um Jay and I is definitely going to be like one of my favorite people in the business and like I, I'm so I'm so glad that I can call him my trainer like I don't know I guess like, I wouldn't be in the desert if it wasn't for him I definitely am him or shoes. Like them two have been um very supportive of me since day one and they still continue to support me and help me try to get opportunities and stuff. Which I I get I'm I'll forever be thankful for them. But Aww. So just have a couple more questions. All right. Um if there was a Ref Kim scented candle, what would it smell like? Ooh. Definitely cotton candy, um, like cotton candy and like maybe like, uh, like vanilla cookies and stuff. Like, like, um, I had that. Yeah, that would definitely like be what it would sound like. Oh, yeah. Sure. So, what is the biggest animal that you could take in a fight with just your hands, no weapons, and you can pretend it's attacking you? Oh. That you could subdue enough to get away from and out of harm. Um, oh. Um. Hmm. Trying to think of one that, that will eat me in the podcast. The process of it. Um. I'm a very. I feel like I'm a very like fierce person. Sometimes, so I'd probably say maybe a. a Maybe a deer, if anything. My brain wants to like go bigger and say a, a wolf, but no, I don't think a wolf. I don't think I could get away from a wolf. <laughs> so yeah, I'll say a deer. Like if a deer was trying to, to tie me up, pretty sure I can definitely get away from that in a fight. But <laughs> <laughs> so, how do you take your pancakes? What do you like in them and on them? Oh, I like chocolate chip pancakes. Chocolate chip pancakes yeah. with like um, maple syrup and like butter. Mm. Yes, I I like to have my chocolate chip pancakes with peanut butter. Peanut butter? I haven't tried that. That sounds good, actually. I might need to try. <laughs> chocolate and peanut butter is lit, and peanut butter on a chocolate chip pancake so good. Ten ten yeah. would recommend. I'm about to try that. Next time I have to get your pancakes. <laughs> so now, like, I just need you to take like this little like mental journey with me. Mm-hmm. So just like, just, like, hold on, just take the ride. So oh. imagine, if you will, you're hungry. You're at the at the store, and you're like moving down the aisles, and you decide you want something sweet, and you're you're going down aisle one aisle two and you see oh cookies I love cookies who doesn't love cookies so mm-hmm. you stop at the cookie aisle and you're looking at all the cookies and you decide you don't want like a chocolate chip cookie or like one of those like fancy Milano cookies no 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 you want America's favorite cookie which is indeed the Oreo so you go to the section with all the Oreos and there's all the flavors and you're like I don't want any of those weird flavors today I don't need like a Swedish fish Oreo you just want like an OG Oreo with like a chocolate cookie and a white cream center, but you still have options. So you could pick a thin Oreo. You could pick like your regular OG Oreo. You could pick like a double stuffed Oreo, or you could pick like the most stuffed Oreo. So what Oreos are you picking? Definitely the the double stuffed Oreos. I like you. That <laughs> is the unofficial correct answer to the question. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> it is the right amount of stuff to cookie. Yes, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, extra point there because. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, this question comes from Vic. He, when we were doing live, he would always ask this question since we're not doing live anymore. I asked the question on behalf 
of our good friend Vic. And this one will come in two parts tonight. Mm. Part one, mm -hmm. what do you think is the best gear of all time? Mm. Like what wrestler do you think has the best gear? Ooh, best gear. Hmm. I'm not the I'm not the specific with AJ Lee. Like, yes. I I love her. I love her style with like um but like like her style with like the, the gear and stuff. Like I love that. Yeah. For sure. Um, like like the converse. And yes, like the shorts. shorts and like the club top shirt. Yes, I read somewhere. I'm like, I like, I'm a big AJ, AJ Lee fan, also. Um, <laughs> I read somewhere that one of the reasons why she wanted to have that as like her gear was because she liked to cosplay and she wanted something that people could easily cosplay. Oh, I love that. So I was like, that's dope, right? Like, she wants little girls to, like, dress up and be fierce. Like, that's awesome. Like, who didn't want to, like, do that? Like, could yeah. I, like, I'm old. Like, who is I going to dress up as as a child? Was I going to dress up as Sable? I don't think so. Yeah. Not as a 10-year-old. Like, come <laughs> on now. <laughs> yes. You don't want your 10-year-olds dressing up like Sable. <laughs> <laughs> so, part two of this question is... um. I know like the standard referee shirt is like, you know, your black and white stripes, but I have seen some very colorful and creative referee shirts. Do you have a, like, do you just use the black and whites? Do you have something else that you use? Do you have a, like a favorite look for other referees that you see at other companies? Like what referee gear do you think is the best? Definitely the um, black polo IEW shirts that the, us refs have like I'm th that's my go-to year now here and there I'll throw on some some strides but like the main gear I wear is definitely the black added with tv shirt <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> nice so what upcoming shows do you have um um next show I have is actually an action show um um, November, I think, 5th. It's, it's on a Saturday. That's my next show. Um, that one, and then on the 12th, I have TWE. And, yeah, that's pretty much it, I think, at the moment. But, yeah. Always subject to change. <laughs> yeah, always. Well, my other question is, where can people find you? Um, plug all of your social media that you want people to find you at. Uh, if you have Twitter, Instagram, if you have like a Facebook fan page, mm -hmm. uh, YouTube, Twitch, Patreon, if you have OnlyFans, TikTok, merch store, plug everything. Okay. Um, let's see. Um, my Instagram and my Twitter is ITZ Young Girl Cam. Um, my Twitch is D1 Cam. Um, my TikTok is, uh, ITZ, uh, D1 Sky. Um, yeah, that's like the main platforms that I've used at the moment. So Nice. Well, thank you so much for hanging out with me tonight. It's been really fun getting to know you. I hope that you are around when I am in Chattanooga in November for ICW. <laughs> yes, well, I will be there. <laughs> yes, awesome. Good deal. I was like, I get to see, I get to see I have CW friends. I can see my Chattanooga friends. I'm so happy. <laughs> so once again, this has been The Stack. I'm Belle Pancakes. This has been Ref Kim. Make sure to follow her on all of her social media. I just want to give a big thank you to Wrestling Over Everything and Table Bump for sponsoring the Bald Monkeys Network and The Stack. And thank you for tuning in. And thank you, Kim, for hanging out. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank <laughs> you.